again, I, I, can't, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, agree more to my friend from Switzerland. The government is not real part of it because the government does not know what a company needs, what skills are required for a company. Therefore, it's the chamber and the company that are sitting together and they identify the skills that are needed that they want their apprentices to be learned. And I think that's really important. Of course, also for Nigeria, if she wants to follow this model. The company, the business should be in the lead. So coming back to the 328 different professions, of course these professions are re-evaluated regularly. It's not that we still have the same requirements for a technician that we had 20, 30, 40 years ago. We have to, we have to adapt it to the needs of the, the businesses. And as you can easily imagine, over the last couple of years, the requirements for a technician, for a um, automotive mechatronic, has changed dramatically. More and more IT, for example, is, is being part of this um, uh, um, profession and the, the education. Therefore, we have to go with the times, as we say. And that is really important. You don't stop. And maybe in a few years from now, we don't have 328. We might have 350 or maybe 310, depending on how the business develops. So we must be flexible, definitely. And once again, um, let me emphasize it, um, the only way to compete globally, the only way to stay on top is to have businesses have their saying when it comes to the requirements for such a system. And in German, the German world, I think it's very similar to Switzerland, um, the companies are combined and the, the companies are joined by the local chambers that are representing the um, businesses as a whole, and therefore it makes sense. Thank you.